people, I am back to finish up all of these lovely earrings we were working on, um, on Unplanned and Unbothered today. So if you caught that this morning, we were working on this set of earrings and we were making some decisions here about what we were going to do. We tried out a new wrapping technique for the, uh, for the drops. I don't know if you can see our little situation we got going on so what we did decide is that I gotta <clears throat> I gotta shorten up these I gotta shorten up these little springs so I am going to take and I'm just gonna cut them in half and this one already has half gone Dun, dun, dun. But I do think I like that middle part, so I'm going to cut this one in half again. Alrighty. So now I got to go in and I got to tuck in all these little wires so that they're not sticking out. Bottoms are already done. And now we have enough for each earring. Alrighty. So, I think I'm going to gonna go this way for the first one just like that this one I'm gonna do in the middle Like so. And then this one at the top. This one's kind of funky. Let me fix it up. Oop. Springy little sucker. There we go. I think this is the way that I'm going to go. I'm going to do with, do with the taper. Like so. Yes. Alrighty. So what I am going to do is I think I'm just going to attach these with the jump ring so that they can do the hinge. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish them up. And I, I am going to kind of pull it down a little bit so it's a little tighter. There we go. So there's one. Here's the middle one.
All right. Just a little tail in there. Oh. Little sucker. This one. Mm -hmm. All right, now all we gotta do is attach them. Let's see what kind of jumpings I got. And I think I will do copper since the layers are copper. I should probably grab one out for the top as well. Little earring bindings. So what do we got going on here? We got a couple of options. A couple of options. We got these guys, which we also have these guys. Okay. Uh, we'll see how I feel. I would like to maybe not have to add another jump ring if I don't have to, but I might have to, so we'll see how that works out. And then we just assemble with our Jumpering situation. Okay.
Hmm. All right, so here's what we got. Now I will say that I may have to flip this one around. I wanted to do the, I wanted to be able to do the taper, but because this one is so far down, just the length of it, um, this one is looking a little wonkity wonk because it's even with this one. So um, I'm going to have to redo this one. Don't particularly care for that. But now we know. So I'm going to get my 22 gauge out and I'm just going to recreate this guy. I will not be deterred. Okay, so I'm just going to make this one like this one. And then we should be in business. All right, so here we go. Yeah, not originally the way I was thinking, but pretty good nonetheless. Digging it and digging it. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put this one on the top here. Oh, I might have to open it a little more. Be very careful not to break the top of this bone. And we're in. So I am going to use, I put it out here, where to go? I had another little oval jump ring that was, oh, here it is. <clears throat> I'm going to use this smaller oval jump ring. go on top here and then utilize my earring there. Hey y'all! Well that, well that, that actually turned out really nice. 
here we go. Okay. So that is what we are working with today. So I do have this other one to do. Um, if you want to see how I completed all of these little things and stuff, there we did the first half of these, like the spiral and everything, on um, this morning's morning coffee. It was uh, on what we call unplanned and unbothered. So we just opened up these beads that Shannon had picked for us, and this is what we decided to make. So if you want to see how to do that part um, and make these, you can. I am going to go ahead and whip up the other one, but I'm going to just put it into fast forward because you guys just saw me do this whole thing. But uh, yeah, so there you go. guys there we go here's the finished product I really like these a lot I think I might have to get some more of those bone links they're pretty good <coughs> excuse me so that's what we end up with 
uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. If you are with this new little series where I do the completion of the morning coffee from the Unplanned and Unbothered, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know if you like these. If you don't, if you would have done it differently, let it all out down there in the comments. All the comments and shares and likes really help. So please like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.